ladies and gentlemen. It is time for part two of going through my autograph collection. I'm not going to bore you too much with a annoying monologue like I usually do. So let's just get started. We'll start down here. We have an 11 by 17 reanimator poster signed by Herbert West. I'm pretty sure I purchased this from a vendor at a convention. Uh, I really like it though. That's why it's in the background of my YouTube set. This is a Series 5 Movie Maniacs signed by Edward Furlong. He wrote later Dickwad on it. His signature is uh, really weird, but you know, he works, he actually takes a long time to write that signature. Like, it's not fluent at all. He just goes for it. This was my first Freddy Krueger autograph right here. Sent it to him, he sent it back. It's a cult classic series two, and he inscribed Keep Dreaming Kid on it at my request. It's the original Hatchet poster signed by Kane Hodder, and also a Friday the 13th Jason Takes Manhattan signed by Kane Hodder. Uh, I have a lot of Kane Hodder's autograph, but I actually just recently met him a couple months ago. This is a Big Daddy action figure from Land of the Dead. He was actually kind of an expensive autograph. I didn't want to spend the money, but I, I had this toy and I really wanted him to sign it. Like he didn't even have, like he wasn't even registered to uh, do the signing, like he bought a booth. I didn't want to spend the amount of money he was asking for, but I felt like I needed it in my collection. He's like the main zombie in that movie, so I did what I had to do. This is an 11 by 17 Punisher poster, signed by the Punisher himself, JSA certified. Here we have an 11 by 17 Lost Boys poster signed by Jason Patrick and Kiefer Sutherland, inscribed with their names. Hopefully I can get some more going on that poster. It's not a sanctioned movie poster, but I really like this one. So I sent it to one of my consignment guys and had him get it signed. Next, a triple signed Return of the Living Dead poster. This might be in the running for my favorite autograph. I absolutely love this thing. I talk about it all the time, how Return of the Living Dead is my favorite zombie movie of all time. No disrespect to George, but I absolutely love this poster. The first person to sign it was James Karen. I sent it to him a couple months before his passing, and he sent it back. I didn't ask him to inscribe anything, so it just says best wishes on it. And I also got it signed by Freddy, aka Tom Matthews. What the hell did he write on there? Something about eating brains. But yeah, he was a really cool guy to me, and then I recently met Linnea Quigley, aka Trash, from Return of the Living Dead, and she signed it, messed up the autograph, as usual. Next, a Return of the Living Dead poster, also signed by James Caring and Tom Matthews. I can actually tell what Tom wrote on this one. Greg, you have spicy brains. That's very sweet. And also, Suzanne Snyder signed it when I met her and got her to sign my Killer Clowns poster. So yeah, those two are my babies. I have an Army of Darkness poster. It's signed to me from Bruce Campbell. His signature is unrecognizable. It doesn't look like Bruce Campbell at all. But he wrote, hey Greg, and he wrote Ash underneath, so that's cool. Next, I'll show you the collection of movie maniacs. So one of my subscribers was nice enough to point out that these don't actually belong to me. So my dad's a big collector. He collected all these movie maniacs back in the early 2000s or late 90s or whatever. And he had them in storage and I asked if I can pull them out and kind of restore them a little bit. Now I just have them up in my house. I hope he doesn't ask for them back. Don't ask for them back, Dad. Like these movie maniacs are awesome. They're, they're like a must have for every horror collector. You got all, like all the main guys. Like all the guys that I have tattooed on me. Jason, Leatherface, Freddy, Michael Myers. You got the species characters, Eva and Patrick, Ghostface, the Crow. I really always like Ghostface and the Crow. I think it's because they're all they're wearing all black, which is kind of like what I wear all the time. But yeah, the movie maniacs. My dad collected them all the way up to like series five when they started making multiples. Yeah, now I have them up in my house. And I really hope dad doesn't ask for them back. This is an oversized Dawn of the Dead poster. It is the main point of my background when I'm making videos. It is signed six times, signed by Ken Forey, Tom Savini, Galen, George Romero, and then Roger and Flyboy are down in the black. 
I don't plan on getting it signed by anybody else. Like these are the main characters. So I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I bought a really expensive frame for it. It's like locked with a key. Yeah, I love this poster. I think, no, I do have another George Romero, but I'm not 100% of it's real. So I gotta send it off before I can display it. My Walking Dead collection. So I started collecting Walking Dead figures back when Walking Dead was watchable. Like, no offense to those guys, dude, but, like, I have I have this last season recorded and I haven't even gotten to watch it because it's like, they're killing me. They're fucking killing me. Um, yeah, Herschel, I got this one signed at a convention face-to-face, -face, so I don't feel the need to send it off to JSA or anything because I'm, like, I'm not going to end up selling this one. Uh, same with when I met Merle. Everybody was getting him to sign Yondu stuff, and I was, like, the only one there ready to have a signature on a... Merle figure. That dude, I don't know man. I feel like he's not even really an actor because the first time I ever saw that guy he was at a convention, wasted his balls, and he was like, I'm not making this up, he was literally trying to kidnap a female cosplayer. Like he just grabbed her and tried to pull her away and his management team had to stop him from doing it. So uh, this dude is actually like a real solid drinker in real life and I'm not sure I'm not sure if he uh, should be allowed out in public at conventions. He's going to be kidnapping people. Next, I have a giant Norman Reedus box. Um, I'm actually going to end up trading this for a smaller collectible. Uh, so if any of you have a smaller Norman Reedus autograph on an action figure that is certified, I will trade you for this one. Little Walking Dead toy probably came out of a subscription box. Tom Payne autograph on a Jesus action figure. These two. My Jason mask and my Freddy glove. Um, I actually made a video about this one. I was gifted this amazing Freddy glove from my mom because she knows how much I love this stuff. And she was out shopping for video games with my dad or something and she saw this glove and thought I would like it, which I did. So uh, she gave it to me. I sent it off to Robert. He signed it and I even got a picture of him signing it, which is awesome. Inscribed, one, two, Freddy's coming for you on the fingers, Robert England, Freddy Krueger. And this lovely thing, my Jason mask, who is my uh, biggest ongoing project right now. Um, I could have this done already if I was willing to send it off to people I know that do consignments, but I'm not. I want to meet all the Jasons in person. I was lucky enough to meet Steve Dash before his passing. Uh, Ari signed it up here. CJ Graham, one of the coolest coolest people I've ever met at a convention. This dude was just awesome to talk to. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. He was awesome. And then, of course, Kane signed it over here, which is also dope. Almost forgot my Negan bet. Signed by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, JSA certified. I absolutely had to get the bat with blood. Like, it just looks way more awesome. If I get to meet Glenn, I'll probably have him sign an action figure and the bat on the same side so I can display it like this. Kind of morbid, but uh, we all remember how uh, Glenn met the bat. Got my GoPro over here for when I go and get tattoos. Cool little candle holder. Here we have a Boba Fett helmet signed by John Morta, I think. I'm not 100% because this is another thing that I won in a raffle with that Facebook group, The Market. I actually won this on Father's Day too which uh, made it even more awesome. So, uh, oh, this is the actual bong used in, just kidding, that's just a fucking bong. I have a 11 by 17 Underworld poster signed by Kate Beckinsale. I met her at a convention and like I worked a 12 hour shift the night before and I got like an hour of sleep and just went to the convention and Jocelyn mentioned that to her and the only thing she had to say was, what's the weirdest thing you've ever pulled out of someone's ass? So I do work in the ER, but pulling things out of people's asses is definitely out of my scope of practice. So I didn't have an answer, but I've heard stories. 11 by 14, The Force Awakens poster, signed by J.J. Abrams. His signature is barely visible, but it's on there. Don't worry. 11 by 17, Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster. This one I got on eBay for really cheap. I wanted a Gunner Hansen, but all the ones that I had been seeing, like they were too expensive for me at the time. But I found this one on eBay really cheap because it was it was dedicated to a guy named Craig. Um, that's not my name, despite what some people call me all the fucking time because my name's Greg. I haven't gotten around to airbrushing it yet, but I did already like you can kind of see I took the signature out with a white paint pen and then I'll go back and airbrush it later. So it's invisible. 
Next, I have uh, the Hills Have Eyes poster. If I'm being completely honest, I like the remake better. But this one, I got to meet Michael Berryman. He was really cool. Uh, for some reason, he felt the need to pull Jocelyn really close to him and tell her that she needs to watch out for me. Maybe I come across as a serial killer. I just thought people thought I was like mysterious or something, but apparently I'm a serial killer. What the fuck ever. 11 by 17 Terrifier, signed by Art the Clown. Right after I saw this movie, one of my autograph companies that I buy from all the time was doing a signing, so I had them grab this for me. So this is actually one of my first autographs. I bought it years and years and years ago off eBay from a guy on the East Coast. Alan Troutman doesn't seem to come out here very often. I guess he doesn't make a lot of money going to conventions around here, which is weird because he is fucking Tarman. So I have this action figure. I'm planning on sending him another action figure so I can have it signed in a green paint pen because I need this in my collection, but you can barely see the signature, so. 11 by 17 Terminator poster signed by Reese. An 11 by 17 Hellraiser poster. Signed by Ashley Lawrence, Doug Bradley, and Clive Barker. Awesome. Uh, I have this samurai sword sitting here because I plan on getting it signed by Michonne. So if any of my consignment guys are watching and you're going to meet Michonne, I'll send you just the sheath and we can get that signed. have a remote controlled R2-D2 up here. Still in the case. Took it out and played with it for a little bit, but uh, I think it's better off up there. Here... We have some pop figures. I know I said in the last video that I don't collect pops, but the reason these pops in particular are important to me is because I have triplet daughters named Leia, Lara, and Arya. So that's why I keep those. Those pops are important to me. They're not going anywhere. If I can get them signed one day, obviously that one's not getting signed, but if I can buy one signed, I will replace this pop and then Try to get these ones done later. So yeah guys, that's my wall. The one I have behind me in my videos. Uh, some of my favorite stuff I have up here. I have, you know, all the movie maniacs and some of my favorite 11 by 17 posters. Walking Dead stuff. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And I'll try to get the last of my stuff out including all the goodies I have in my uh, chest of drawers as soon as I can. Thanks. See you guys next time.